Hey YouTubers, Dave here. Just wanted to make a quick video regarding the Western Digital TV live streaming media player um, where people were complaining that they didn't have the get content info um, within the menus for the movies and stuff. Western Digital re released a new firmware upgrade and um, it seems to resolve that issue but there is a, a small setup you have to do so I just want to kind of go through that and just show the people out there what they need to do really. So. First of all, you need um, the latest firmware, so just check that you do have um, the version 1.08.17. Um, if you haven't, you can do an, up an upgrade onto that. So, um, first of all, basically, let's go into the setup. So, you go to setup, system, down to media library, media library manager for network shares. And in here, you need to add a new share. So, for instance, I have the TV Live Hub downstairs with all my movies stored on there. You can do this the same for computer uh, shares. Bearing in mind the shares on your PC have to be set up differently in terms of the permissions. So um, that's another story. So I'm not even bother going into that. But basically, add a share. Um, it's under Windows Shares Live Hub. Um, log in anonymously. Okay. Um, select the Live Hub. Select here. You can see all my movies. It's downstairs on my hub. Okay. Then okay again. If you have for instance, you have a network drive plugged into your router, or you have a NAS drive or anything like that, and you have different locations with diff you know the different movies on. You can add, add as many as you like into here, so you can add either one, or you can add three. And the best thing about this is when you go back into, obviously this has to compile the media now, so we'll just let that compile. So that's compiled now. So when you go into your videos, you need to press the red button on the remote and select your source. So what you need to do, you'll see that My Media Library is now selected at the top. So what you need to do is My Media Library is everything you just compiled in the previous part in the setup. So if you press My Media Library, that will select that share. And what this will do, it will bring up the folder. So this is a media file folder. We'll just go into there. It's a little bit slow sometimes. Um, I'm on Wi-Fi, so um, it's not very fast. Okay, so there we go. So this is now pulled up the movies. Um, so previously, before we didn't get these menus, basically. So we have the full menus now. You can watch the trailers. We we'll remove the info. I'll just do a quick demonstration for you guys. So this is connected up to my Western Digital Live Hub downstairs. So basically. So press the options button, get content info, searching for the content, just go down there, um, hope the movie's here, yep there we go, click OK, that's now putting it on the folder uh, on my Western Digital TV Live Hub, again it can go into Network Drive or a NAS box or anything like that, so that'll load up the data onto there, put that on there, and jobs are good and bearing in mind this is all the videos as well that are on your shares. Uh, so just for the guys that uh, people out there that was worrying about that, it's something that really kind of annoyed me that I was having to move movies onto my um, hard drive, then I was having to go downstairs, load up the live hub, do the um, add get content info on there. When really, you know, I, I could do with really getting rid of the hub to be honest, and just keeping a couple of these, having my shares on. And there you go. So um, hope this helps any of you guys out there, and if you like it, uh, leave us some comments. Cheers. Bye.